made a chalk video. We still gotta watch the cat video. But today, 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 chat, today, chat, we're gonna watch sharks. I love sharks. I fucking love sharks. Sharks are one of my favorite animals, man. I freaking love sharks. So, we made a video? We gotta watch it. Shark video. Shark video. Uh, one of you guys sent me a freaking shark plushie, okay? Thank you for that, by the way. Remember when I said I'd show a cactus my uvula before I go out into the ocean? Yeah, it was a tough cactus. Oh, where is it? Yo! Lash is very good. Yeah, I have a I went swimming with sharks to I see do. them in person and instead almost saw Steve Irwin do, shout out to the goat. That aside, I'm gonna make you like sharks I mean, in this video. So but before things get better, first oh, you gotta get like worse. So, thalassophobics warning, here's the part where it hurts. One, hurts. Sharks are so adorable, man. What the fuck? What are we looking at? Honest question, what? has there ever been a horror movie about jellyfish? It's not like oh. Poseidon didn't flush a metric sh ton of source material. Jellyfish. You're looking at, unironically, one of the worst sites in nature. A jellyfish oh. bloom. It's a problem for many the reasons. Blue. One, it's basically a bath bomb from Shaitan. But also cause it's one of the last signs Have the ocean gives before it hits- Have you guys ever had a jellyfish sting? I did. Well, dude, it hurt, but it looked so pretty. It looked so pretty. It was on my stomach. It was on my belly. I got I've gotten a jellyfish sting on my je uh, on my belly. So pretty, but hurt as fuck. Hurt as fuck. Don't ignore me, YouTube. I need your help. The chat is trying to kill me. <laughs> no! Chad is not trying to kill you! No Chad, when stop a part of Neptune's kill. neighborhood falls apart and can't support the animals in it, the last step Something usually involves do, getting yeah. gentrified by jellyfish, since the same conditions that are unlivable for most are usually where Satan shopping bags thrive. Oh, and don't think because you're on land, no, you're safe. Not only have these blooms caused legit power outs, but about half of the oxygen on Earth comes from the same phytoplankton these blooms eat. So why am I talking about jellyfish fuck? in a video that was supposed to How be about How do jellyfish sharks? eat Well, anything? if you're scared of one, you should probably thank the other. Sharks are the ocean equalizer, keeping other animals in line from their spot at the top oh, of the look food how, how web, near the top. Well, we're getting the bats. Basically, sharks eat the- I also still can't get over the fact that some of you motherfuckers, uh, like in one of our past streams, fucking thought that a shark is a mammal. Fucking dumbass. Sharks aren't mammals. And I prove you wrong that instant moment. Sharks are not mammals. Sharks are fish. They're fishy, 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 fishy fish. Big fish that would eat the little fish that would Orcus eat the jellyfish. Yes, Orcus are. The ocean is Who a Jenga tower, but and sharks are the one block that can bring it all down. Now it's not as simple as I just made it sound, where no sharks automatically means more ocean acne, but you really don't realize how fast the sea is without sharks. That is until you realize what their actual day looks like. Well, sharks aren't mammals. just the equalizer, they're the cleanup crew, mostly going around picking off the dead and dying. You won't see them chasing around small fry that probably aren't even worth Look it. The same way you probably wouldn't drive 45 minutes for a bag of chips. I hope. It's why, if you <laughs> want to check your ego, swim in a shiver of sharks and watch how hard you get ignored like JLo in the Bronx. I was surrounded wow. by Galapagos sharks, and the closest I got to becoming a hashtag was the ocean slamming me against the bars like I owed it something. It was like an MMA cage match with Mother Nature that got way too personal. I wonder why. But yeah, the sharks Holy could shit. not care less about me. They really do treat you like an NPC. I did learn that because sharks can detect electromagnetic fields, if you stick a GoPro deep enough, you can say you pooped a shark. Just know, that was the most action I got all day. And if more people realized how often they get snubbed by sharks, even when they're right under us, you'd realize why you're statistically That's more likely crazy. to get flattened by a vending machine, KO'd by a I wanna do that, I don't. I, while I socks would still on, be too scared because I can't swim. Shark. It usually takes bad RNG or a surfer adopting the silhouette of a seal. But why are sharks so scary, actually? It sounds easy. It's a prehistoric predatory okay. scary guppy with permatease. Bro, that one? That not so cute looking. So scary, like, actually. It sounds easy. It's like this. That's, that's pretty ugly. That that was pretty ugly. The prehistoric predatory steroid guppy with permateeth, but honestly, I cute. think it's deeper than that. Sharks, snakes, and spiders. These are the only oh, three most. Oh, snakes! Snakes! Snakes are so adorable. Little snake, little snake baby, little snake baby. Spiders? No, 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 no. You arachnophobia squat? Be happy that I'm covering up the spider with my head. You don't want to see those. Trust me. animals on Earth, and it's like I, I don't want to be afraid of them. Snakes are legless, cold-blooded reptiles oh that even monkeys will throw stones at. <laughs> oh my god, I've seen that! I've seen that tweet! I, I've seen that video! <coughs> that the fucking- the fucking snake growls! Snakes are legless, cold-blooded- The 
this uh, the snake can growl listen to this chat blooded reptiles and even most likely because we're hardwired to be afraid of them snakes are legless cold-blooded reptiles that even monkeys will throw stones at on the other end spiders oh snakes snakes are just uh are just legless cats i guess snakes can do that yeah cobras can Cobras can. have too many eyes, too many legs, and show up too many times in people's business to ever get good graces. Meanwhile, <laughs> sharks might just represent the fear of the unknown. Oh, no. <laughs> no! 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 I want you to... Ocean is an endless, uncaring void that could wipe you out in seconds with nothing you can do about it. And projections are You were waiting for this? Fuck you! Why didn't you warn me? Hell of a drug since that unsettling fear often gets put on the apex predators of that void. But that's a problem right there. You hear sharks and instantly think of another Jaws movie. So maybe you should see the sharks that don't make- Oh my god, look, he's just smiling! He has a little smile. You just just a pretty little grouper. The big screen. This is a zebra shark. It's a <laughs> He's a bit like a dumbass. Maybe you should see the sharks <laughs> that don't make like the big screen. This is Just built like a dumbass. It's a zebra shark. It's a cinnamon <laughs> roll of a fish that is somehow less of a threat than the trauma donkey it's named after. The zebra oh, shark is the beginning cutie. of sharks getting the sea dog allegations, and arguably the, the most dangerous thing about them is their front face. If nature oh. wanted me to take the thresher shark seriously, they should know. The dangerous thing about them is their front face. But like a dumbass. Face. If nature wanted me to take the thresher shark seriously, they shouldn't have given them such an unserious pair of eyes. It does not matter what the situation is, thrushers will oh always my God. The constant side eye. Some... The mustic side eye. Quamna side eye. Such an unserious pair of eyes. It does not matter what the situation is, thrushers will always look like they Really need an adult. Now they do kill prey by delivering soul evicting slaps with that tail, but oh, you know. oh no. just the baby. I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff about the salmon shark, but honestly, all I can think of is that they're the baby Looney Tunes G-rated version. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a chibi shark! Oh my god! It's a fucking chibi shark! <gasps> of great whites. The epaulet is a shark with no regard for the laws of nature, using Aww. special fins to literally walk fuck? on land. Wait, what? Just literally watching. When sharks wake up with student loans, taxes, and only two weeks vacation, it's all gonna get traced back to him. This is a spinner shark, and even though it's oh. hunting, I can't not laugh at how unserious this is. The nervous shark is literally named after how terrified they are of. <laughs> it's the nervous shark. Anything human, and whale sharks are unbelievably wholesome for a bus-sized fish with teeth in its eyes. Speaking oh my god, this one. That one is, bro. That that shark is so sick, bro. And yes, it's called a whale. Human and whale sharks are unbelievable. Like whale shark, bro. That shark, that that one looks so cool. That one looks so cool. I love this one so much. Unbelievably wholesome for a bus-sized fish with teeth in its eyes. Speaking of whale sharks, you got other plus-size filter features like the basking shark. They're about thirty feet long, the second biggest shark, and they're really only a threat to your mental. <gasps> Okay, that's not my fuel. <laughs> that, that, that one is not my fuel, well, chat. Especially since a lot of plesiosaur panic can get traced back to a dead oh. basket. Then there's the mega mouth shark, which honestly probably... <laughs> that may not deserve mega mouth? It would be scary if you didn't know it's also a giant curl-eating pushover that lives in the forgotten corners of the Yoshi. Oh. Then you got the sharks you forget... That's a mega mouth. Holy shit, what the mouth doing? 
What the mouth doing? Sharks. Imagine you're at the shore and someone screams shark. Whole time they're pressed over a tasseled wabagong, a type of carpet shark that takes the name literally by living. Carpet shark. Oh it's my life god. as a homicidal rug. Oh, Here you no. have the smallest shark in the world. Oh my god, smallest shark in the world. What? <laughs> My heart. Oh my god. So cute. Bro, the lantern shark. There's a sawfish that. Uh, oh, really? Okay, oh, yeah. Well, apparently sawfish. it's not actually a shark. It's a ray related to a shark. But don't worry, because huh. this isn't. It's a ray? Actual oh. saw shark. Because you know the riddle at this point is conducive oh. to the same traits as convergent evolution. And you can't forget nurse sharks being so unproblematic and curious around. Ray saw a family of chunk. Wait, I did. Wow. Around people, scientists called it the Labrador of the sea. And I'm glad oh. they did, because now we get to go down the rabbit hole of sharks being dogs <laughs> and cats at the same time. The poor beagle is a shark named after a porpoise. Look at his eye. Look at him. He's looking. He's looking. And a beagle. Yeah, I don't I don't get it either, but we'll get back to that. Dogfish were named after fishermen apparently watching them chase smaller prey in packs, like dogs. Oh. But some dogfish are also cat sharks and Pearl spilled like a snake. And they got their name from the vertical feline coated eyes. Like the small spotted cat shark is also at the same time yeah, called the, the lesser death spotted frog. dogfish. Google says there's over 150 species of cat sharks, including the chain cat shark. <gasps> Bro, so, uh, Bro, so pretty. What the fuck? Bro. I want to eat it. No, no eating. No eating, just petting. Or chain dogfish. Wow! Do not touch kids. I wanna, I wanna boop the snoot. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me boop that snoot. Of course, their biggest flex is they can glow green through biofluorescence. Oh! <gasps> wow! And they're not the only ones. It turns out over 50 species of sharks, like kite fin and swell sharks, can light up. That's about 10% of all sharks. Did you guys know the platypus glows under, like, the, the, the UV light? Did, did you guys know that? Did you guys know that Perry the platypus <laughs> actually <laughs> is canon? Uh, a platypus UV light glow. Yes, because of memes. Yeah, I, I knew it because of the memes too. Look at it! It's Perry the platypus! Oh, I'm in the way. Perry! It's literally Perry-coded! <laughs> Bro, that's so sick! Oh, where were we? Here. And some actually use a light <laughs> to hide. Now, it's a bad bad. Might sound confusing, but if you're a predator in the crotch of the ocean, all you have to do is look up, and anything that looks like a shadow against the light of the sky is probably your next victim. However, if you can take a cue from a lightsaber, you can blend into the skylight and basically disappear. In fact, countershading is a concept most sharks borrow from, and it basically means. Oh. If you're above them, then the darker roof blends into the dark of the abyss. But if you're under them, the light under- Dude, that looks so cool. So fucking cool, man. I, I don't know what it is about the shark shape, man, but the shark shape is so fucking cool. I just like- oh, wow. Your belly matches the sunlight hitting the water. And when you think about it, a lot of animals use this strat to avoid problems. They do, But some yeah. take it a step further, because scalloped hammerheads are scientifically proven to tan themselves if they sit in shallow sun- They can tan themselves? What? Exposed water. Some say recruiting melanin is nature's way of keeping them from getting eaten by their own kind, by making it easier for the smaller babies to hide. We got a little off track, I won't apologize for it, but the point is, if you're still afraid of sharks, then maybe you should subvert your expectations. Especially since some sharks aren't even full-time predators. The bonnet head Wait, shark what? is like a hammerhead with performance anxiety. It's also an om- <laughs> Motherfucker has performance anxiety! No! He's so- He's just like me, for that real, for real? In an experiment, 60% of its diet included the green stuff. What?! He's a vegetarian! Vegetarian shark! Whale sharks are also partly grass-fueled, and a study from Forbes found that half of what goes through them are plants like algae and sargassum. Okay, so yeah. maybe you're still afraid of sharks. Maybe no, I'm not. if you knew what our sharks are afraid well, of. There's only one thing that can send the Star of Jaws <laughs> packing, and you already know it's orcas. Killer whales are known to mutilate great whites for their li- 
Wow. Holy shit. Star of Jaws packing in. You already know it's Orphus. Killer whales are known to mutilate great whites for their Okay, so uh, just get Lily on your side, Goddard. Often that's all they take. The sharks have been so beaten. Bro! That's a big chunk out of that shark! Bro! And down that Monterey Bay, scientists found that great whites off Fairlawn Islands will abandon their favorite hunting grounds for up to a year if they run into the assault cetacean once. Wow! Researchers have even started Orcus playing the so sounds cool, of Orcus though. on loop to keep sharks away from beaches. And imagine minding your own business in a hairless iPhone monkey plays your op's anthem. Orcus is so cool, man. I wouldn't call it fear, but both dolphins and sea lions have been known to... Orcus are the assholes of... No, no, no. Dolphins are the assholes of the sea. Bully great whites by abusing the always superior power of friendship. Okay. Get up, let me get up, let Wanna know something funny? Orcas sometimes play with their food. Yeah, wanna know something funny? And dolphins sometimes use the corpse of the killed fish to masturbate. How about that one? How about that one? You like you like that one? You like that fact? Yeah? You like that fact? Now I just feel bad for them. Bull sharks are honestly the closest thing to the stereotype, and they have about the highest testosterone levels of any animal. Yeah, even more than a down bad elephant. And even the bull shark has fears, wow. and its biggest are crocs. They often frequent the same waters, and the rageaholic of sharks gets a severe no. attitude adjust- I would have never thought that I would ever see a crocodile and a shark on, on, on the same, in the same like place. What the fuck? Just by smelling them. They've also- why do you know that? Why do you not know that? <laughs> Basic knowledge. Not sent packing by hippos, but by far the strangest thing sharks are afraid of. That's an actual image. What? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. There is a very real thing sharks wait, wait. are afraid of. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. There is a very real rabbit hole of the most notorious underwater predators getting pressed by some bubbles with hammerheads oh, and tiger sharks reportedly really uncomfortable with the bubbles from school. Wait, Chuck's all afraid of bubbles? That's so adorable. <laughs> is... Oh my god, again. Yeah. That's so adorable. And scientists even working on making bubble curtains to use as a type of bug spray, but for sharks. Which was funny oh until god. I realized dolphins probably just have them that messed up. Let's go back to that picture. <laughs> uh, that's you. <laughs> Bro, I'm a... A dolphin will try to do the deed with you, by the way. I, I've seen a Twitter clip. I've seen a Twitter clip. I've scrolled past a Twitter clip where a dolphin was humping a woman. Okay? The woman was fully closed, right? The woman was fully closed. It was like a, like a dolphin meeting kind of thing. But the, the dolphin flew up, just went, jumped out of the water and was fucking humping the woman. <laughs> Just letting you guys know, dolphins are wild. If you want the definition of irony, it's- Why are you on that side on, of the internet? Uh... I'm a VTuber, I need to know that stuff. <laughs> I need to know that stuff, I'm a VTuber. <laughs> Spending 400 million plus years predator maxing just to get stressed by a Spongebob scene transition. So play some orca opera and you'll keep sharks away, but the wrong playlist and you might just bring sharks to you. Sharks are attracted to heavy death metal music, because apparently the vibrations and beats sound just like struggling or injured fish. Remember, sharks are like the morgue of the sea, and dive Holy operators shit. like Matt Waller will use music as a Batman symbol to attract sharks. Their favorites? According to him, ACDC, You Shook Me All Night Long, and Back in Black are the best at getting their attention. That they like some pretty cool music. Wow, I did not, did not expect Chuck to like that. So are certain colors because for a so while, it was widely yeah, believed what the, that the single worst color to wear if you're afraid of sharks is yellow. Matter of fact, it was yellow. nicknamed Yum Yum Yellow for how Ooh. wearing it could turn you into a literal snack. <laughs> POV, you got eaten. POV, you got eaten. Yellow. Matter of fact, it was nicknamed Yum Yum Yellow for how wearing it could turn you into a literal <laughs> snack. The truth is, sharks are likely colorblind, with only one color cone in their eye to R3. ACDC is not metal, yeah, well. And. And I'm not a VTuber, whatever, who cares? 
<laughs> so I'm sure they're from Bot Hole or something. they see the world in something. black, white, and shades of gray. Now what they can see- Kill me or it's war! It's I'm contrast, saying. and anything that stands out against the ocean blue immediately gets their attention. The more you know. Now let Makes me ask sense. you a question. Makes sense. You think yeah. sharks get silly? But like, yeah, like definitely. you think in 400 million years of being alive, they figured out how to have fun? Well, remember the poor beagle? Definitely. Science is peep that the shark named after a dog will roll around in kelp, toss it around like a football, and even take turns chasing each other. <laughs> Great reef sharks sink so if they true. don't swim, so they'll often swim against current updrafts in order to surf oh. and basically take a break from the whole just keep swimming thing. But what's Aww. crazy is they have a conveyor belt system where once one shark reaches the end of the line, it'll let the current carry it back to where it started. You could say it's just them saving energy, but... <laughs> Cute as that. Is you that just... not the same energy as this? Sharks have been fighting stereotypes like a boxing match for years. And... Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Hollow Knight music. The closest thing to an uppercut they got is the fact that sharks have friends in 2023. <gasps> Researchers found that two sharks are friends? <laughs> sharks are further ahead of life than me. Love the no! <laughs> Two great whites, Simon and Jekyll, had traveled more than 4,000 oh. miles together after being first tagged off the coast of Georgia in 2022, eventually ending up in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, just off New Brunswick, Canada. It shows you oh. how little we know about them, because a couple years ago, nobody would believe the final boss of sharks was down for a travel buddy. Shark scientist Yanis Papastamachiu linked up with researchers from the University of Hawaii, Exeter, and UC Santa Barbara to study reef sharks in a Palmyra Atoll to uncover the secret social circle of sharks. What they found was that these sharks have a literal social circle, with the same sharks wow. hanging out together in the morning, separating and going about their business during the day. <laughs> it's when they go to work, man! Sharks actually go to work! Oh my god! Sharks are so much further ahead in life than me! No! Sharks have a secret underground society, bro! Sharks are so much more advanced than I am! to meet up again later. These shark groups even use the same part of the reef day after day like a high school lunch table, and these oh friend groups lasted the entire four-year study. And it's not just reef sharks. By night, nurse sharks hunt alone, but during the day, they join cuddle parties of up to 40 in order to save energy. Fucking cuddle. They have cuddle parties. Oh my god, every second into this video, I'm getting fucking outperformed by a shark, man. It must work, because white tips also power a nap as a stack pack. Sand tigers mm. are like sea coyotes, where they're fusion fishing. They have a close network of sharks they associate with, and even sharks they'll meet up with multiple times a year. Scientists now believe oh that god. if a shark has their version of a best friend, it's usually someone that's roughly the same size, the same sex, and about the same age. Which Bro, they got a bro. Sharks have bros. Oh my god, sharks have bros. Which would explain Simon and Jekyll. But now the real question is, can sharks form bonds with people? And the answer, like everything else, is complicated. Lemon sharks are not only famous for having favorite divers, but for getting jealous and overprotective when they see that diver around others. If a nurse shark oh. is a Labrador, the lemon shark's a golden retriever with gills. Here's my thing now, sharks will form partnerships with other fish like remoras and pilot fish where they'll pick parasites off the shark, so this could just be yeah, a lemon that's shark. treating a person like any other cleaning service. Funny thing about pilot fish, sailors who saw them would swear they and sharks would act like close friends, and there's even stories of pilot fish chasing ships for weeks after they caught one of their sharks, apparently seeming <laughs> Distressed and anxious without him. And you probably oh wouldn't believe that if something like that didn't happen with a person. In 2001, shark conservationist Jim Abernathy removed a hook from the mouth of a tiger shark named Emma. 20 years and Emma. several more hooks later, and Jim and Emma might as well be a married couple, with Emma still recognizing and rushing up to Jim even after. Several years later! Sharks are just better than humans. <laughs> Oh, sharks are just so much better than humans, what the fuck? They're up to a year apart. And we're not talking about nurse or lemon sharks, that's a 14-foot garbage disposal with the personality of a lap dog. We don't know for sure if sharks could feel affection like one, but it honestly wouldn't be a surprise. Since sharks are intelligent so enough to be trained like dogs. Eugenie Clark was an ichthyologist nicknamed Shark Lady, who taught lemon sharks how what? to push a target and ring a bell for food, and they even learned how to tell apart different shapes and colors. Some aquariums in the UK train sharks to roll Oh, okay. I thought... Oh wait, are we still talking about her? God. I, I, like, uh, was she... 
Did she die in a, ne uh, in a shock accident or no? signals and commands the same way Pavlov conditioned dogs. Uh. And gray bamboo sharks also figured out how to tell apart different shapes, even when researchers tried tripping them up with optical illusions. And even after 50 weeks, they still remember. Peter Outrage in 3, 2, 1, oh my god. They're training. But really shouldn't be a surprise. Sharks were around back when Saturn was bumping Beyonce and praying on a ring. Sharks are no dummies. You gotta respect that. They might be They're the biggest smart. flex nature ever made. Sharks can literally track your heartbeat through electrical reception. They have a built-in GPS. They have replaceable fluoride coated teeth. Oh yeah, they have multiple rows of teeth. I have a, if a teeth falls out, they just replace it. They just fucking replace it, they don't care. That can't get cavities. Some like the Greenland shark can live for a legit hundreds of years. Hey. You can find sharks at the very bottom of the ocean, under an active volcano, and even swimming in River Thames. And I honestly don't know what to be more impressed by. Really, the only weakness sharks have is they can be put in a trance-like paralysis just by getting rotated. Team that <laughs> bro can rotate. It's it's so funny, bro. You can just rotate that. The tonic immobility is usually triggered just... paralysis just by getting rotated. The tonic. Imagine being a fucking predator of the seas, one of the top kings in the seas, and just you just get rotated. <laughs> Fucking rotate of dumbass. Immobility is usually triggered by pressing down on the snout, but sharks can induce it in some painfully awkward situations. Are they 69ing? What? What is going on? Are they. Wait, are they 69ing? Triggered by pressing down on the snout, but sharks can induce it in some painfully awkward situations. 69 eating? Yeah, like what the hell? Stand by to study and tag them. Meanwhile, orcas do it to steal their organs like a black market merchant. Hey, this time I'm not gonna call them an oppressive Oreo, cause we do some. We got shocked 69 before GTA 6. Something way worse. Shark finning is the practice of cutting off the fins and tossing oh, them down. Oh yeah, I heard that. That is, bro, that is so horrible. Bro, that is so fucking horrible. Like, like if you're already gonna fucking mutilate the bitch, at least like kill it off. Like. It won't be able to swim anymore. We're just gonna sink and die a really painful life. Like, if you're gonna do this, like, kill it. Just, like, 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 just, just take it out at this point, man. Oh, my God. Like, overall, I'm against shark eating. Like, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm completely against shark eating, man. I, no thanks. No fucking thanks, and I, I, I would never eat a fucking shark. But like, at least use the rest, man. Like, yeah, at least, like, fucking use the rest of the body, man. Like, what the fuck? Shark back into the sea, where their only option is to slowly drown or bleed yeah. to death. Depending on the shark, that can take an excruciating oh. two hours. And this is a fate that follows not hundreds, but up to a hundred million sharks a year. All for something Jesus. Gordon Ramsay called me. At the end of the day, we gaslit wow. sharks like no what animal has ever seen. We put up every world war combined numbers on them every trip around the sun. Meanwhile, sharks might get 10 on a good year. In fact, you can argue that for all the shark slander, humans have the, the highest KD stuff, yeah. ratio against them. No other wild animal gets done this dirty. Moral of the story? You know it's bad when the author of Jaws, Peter Benchley, would go on to regret writing it and dedicate the rest of his life to shark conservation. Aww, bro. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, why you gotta leave it on a sad ending? Bro! I'm gonna be posting the full GoPro footage of me swimming with sharks. Nothing too crazy. But other than that, make sure you drink water, hug your mother. R.I.P. Mm. Peter Benchley. I don't, I don't, I don't hug my mom. I, I, I rarely see my mom. I should see my mom more often. R.I.P. Eugenie. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Bro, he's. <laughs> That shark can dance better than I dance. Oh my god! Bye YouTube. Yeah, goodbye YouTube. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Holy shit, sharks are based though. Don't eat shark. Don't eat shark. Because if you eat shark, 
if you eat shark fin, this this might have happened to that shark. So don't don't do it. Thanks. Uh, thanks for watching.